Hello there, my name is Al, I'm from Bombay Expeditions, and I hope you're having a great day today. We would like to make this video due to the fact that a lot of people, uh, a lot of overlanders, a lot of uh, guys on YouTube, a lot of people uh, in the landing community asking us questions, what kind of gear we have, what have we done, to, what, what we do with our vehicles for overlanding. A lot of times people want to get into overlanding, but the choices are overwhelming. They are truly millions and millions and mil there are millions of mods you can do to your vehicles, millions of uh, pieces of equipment, pieces of gear, things that you need, you do not need, and uh, so on and so forth. So um, what we are doing in Bon Voyage Expeditions, what we decided to do, we decided to purchase a vehicle to show you guys all the modifications that we do from the start to the end. The vehicles that we use in Bon Voyage are basically Land Rovers. Uh, from D1s, D2s, uh, that, that, that means Disco 1s, Disco 2s, uh, we do LRs, we do HSEs, uh, Range Rovers itself, the L322. Uh, they are common vehicles, uh, they are great base Okay, uh, some people are you know having better views on them. Some people are having a great time with them. It's, it all depends on any person. Anybody should go and try to overland, try to camp, try to go off road, try to do something. Just get on the couch and get out there. Okay, take your family, grab them, and go. Now, uh, we have purchased this vehicle, um, and I would like to thank a company that helped us purchase it. It's uh, Mercedes Auto Centers in Hollandale, Florida. Uh, Nick in particular, a very stand-up guy, and uh, really he really helped us to buy to buy this vehicle. The vehicle has 80,000 80, miles on it, and uh, it's in uh, good shape. I'm not gonna say it's a great shape. It's 80,000, you know, 80,000 mile vehicle, but um, it's an 06 HSC version, LR3. So uh, without any further ado, I'm gonna introduce you to the vehicle, and uh, we're basically going to show you this is stock, and going to show you. How we, as time progresses, we are going to make make mods to the truck, and uh, we're going to basically explain why we do it, how we do it, which gear we use, and so on and so forth. So here is the vehicle itself. Again, this is an uh, 06 LR3 V8 HSC version, three row seating. Basically, it's unmodified um, base. And we're going to create this into this. A uh, fully blown um, uh, overlanding rig, okay? Uh, where you have, uh, we gotta start with obviously brake modifications and a bottom of and tires and so on and so forth, and then we gotta go on to the solar tint and things that we do we use and uh, things that we um, have made mistakes on. Um, uh, we are family of four, uh, and uh, we travel with our dog, which is a pretty big dog, Jack. You've probably seen him from other videos. Uh, so. We basically want to, we are a family that promotes um, family travel. You know, we, we, it's, all about, it's all about the family in reality. And we would like to share our experiences with you guys. And we also like to, for you guys to get out there and not to be scared. Not to be scared to go and travel. Uh, traveling in a vehicle is a great thing. Uh, you have your stuff that you that you can carry with you, your food and so on and so forth. You go into the wild, you go into the roads less traveled. And uh, going to the cities, um, it's a, unfortunately, it's the same thing everywhere. Okay, so uh, we live in a great nation, which is, you know, obviously the United States. Um, and we have so much to see here. Okay, uh, such a beautiful, large country. But we also touch to uh, different continents as well. We have South America, which is, a, a be again, beautiful people, beautiful country. I mean, beautiful uh, continent. Um, uh, Canada, we attached to Canada, which is, I would say, to my opinion, is like 90% of Canada is un uninhabitable and people are, there's nobody around. And uh, um, 
it's scary out there because if you run out of gas, you're basically going to be stuck. So put some jerry cans on your truck. <laughs> Those things are needed in Canada. So anyways, the point is that um, uh, we encourage everybody to go out there. Take your family, take your kids, take your wife, take your dog, and just take them on a the trail. Uh, we're, in, we're based in Florida, so Florida has a beautiful park system. Uh, not a whole much to off-road, okay, but a lot of things to, to do as far as overlanders go. Overlanding and off-roading, it's two different things. And I try, I, I try to, express this, to express this to people so many times. So people agree, some people don't agree, but I'm still standing my ground that um, overlanding is uh, basically traveling in your vehicle. Off-roading is you you definitely have to modify your car a little bit different, okay? Uh, and you beat up your truck much uh, your rig much uh, harder than you overland. Um, uh, you travel the roads that are not really uh, uh, not a common path, and you you will experience life. Off-roading, I do off-road. I have to be honest with you, but I don't use let's just say this rig right here for overlanding. Uh, I use, uh, I, don't, I don't go off-roading with, for off-roading we use this gun. This is our other, I would say, truck. So as you can see, the, it's, different, it's a different vehicle, you know, like in, uh, uh, I, s I always tell to people, uh, just, you know, don't have excuses of, oh my god, I don't have this kind of a rig. I don't have this kind of a truck, or I don't have this kind of money, or I don't have this and I have that. You know, there are plenty of people that travel in Prius, and they overland in Prius. And they live off in, in, inside a Prius. And uh, Google them. I mean, Google them and uh, YouTube them. And th these guys are out there. And I know quite a few of these people. And they love it, okay? They live frugal life. Um, there's no end to uh, putting miles on the trucks. There's no end putting, you know, different gears on the truck. There's no end to it. Uh, but in, in the beginning you have to just go out there and uh, try and see how things are how you're gonna feel how your family is gonna feel what do you actually need you know you might need uh, you might purchase a Land Rover but you know uh, there's uh, a third row seating you know but you don't really need it you know so uh, get out there try it you know just try to get your family out it, it all starts with one barbecue one just one night with a camp you know go by the campfire you have your laughs you have your uh, differences you know, you work it out, and you will work it out. But for some reason, um, uh, while you while you're in the nature, you work a lot of things out. Uh, trust me, it, it it you know, taken from my experiences, things really work out. So don't overthink things. Just go out there and uh, just um, uh, overland. Just go start camping. Okay. So uh, basically. Uh, if you like the video and if you'd like to see what's going going on further uh, down the road, uh, please subscribe, um, like us, thumbs up, <laughs> and uh, we will see you uh, in a few days when we start doing the months, okay? Have a nice day and uh, bon voyage!